Good evening. Don Cherry is done. The controversial hockey commentator has been fired for this comment he made Saturday on Hockey Night in Canada. You people love you. you they come here, whatever it is. You love our way of life. You love our milk and honey. At least you could pay a couple of bucks for poppies or something like that. That was just part of what some are calling Cherry's You People diatribe, which saw him criticizing new immigrants for supposedly not wearing poppies in support of Canadian veterans. The comments attracted a swift backlash, with many calling on Cherry to apologize. The outrage enough to overwhelm the Canadian Broadcast Standards Council website, which says it is no longer accepting complaints due to the sheer volume of submissions. Cherry has been quiet since Saturday, but Sportsnet today confirmed the comments cost him his job. President Bart Yabsi writing in part, after Saturday night's broadcast, it has been decided it is the right time for him to immediately step down. He made divisive remarks that do not represent our values or what we stand for. And a short while later, the CBC also released a statement saying Cherry's remarks on Saturday night were divisive, discriminatory and offensive. Well, Cherry's firing is getting plenty of reaction at local hockey rinks and at Rogers Arena, where the Vancouver Canucks were practicing earlier today. Oh, he's been in the game for a, a long time and he's been around, but at the same time, hockey's supposed to bring people together and, and um, you know, there's no place for, for stuff like that. So, um, no, it's, uh, no, I think it's the right decision to be made. This game's for all of our fans, no matter where you're from or what your, um, your roots are. So I think uh, uh, as an organization, the Canucks, uh, uh, we welcome everybody. So. Well, I don't think there's any room for that in, you know, not just in sport, but in life in general. And, uh, you know, you don't like to see people making comments like that that'll hurt other, other people, other cultures. And several Canadian politicians are also weighing in on Cherry's remarks, including federal NDP leader Jagmeet Singh, who tweeted, all sorts of people have fought on behalf of Canada. Uh, my goal is to make sure people know that there was a lot of people involved and people from all parts of the world, lots of folks from Asia and South Asia, lots of indigenous people, uh, people who don't often get talked about were a part of, the, of that common cause. And Don Cherry's comments proved to be a point of conversation at Remembrance Day services across Metro Vancouver. As Deb Global reports tonight, thousands turned out to honor Canada's veterans. Would you like a program? For 95 years, there's been a Remembrance Day ceremony here at Victory Square. But for the Nguyen family, this is their first time. We have been here for the five months only, so it is a very, very special event for us. Along with their three-year-old son, they've come to honour the soldiers who fought for the Canada we have today. I explained to him uh, why they are doing what they are doing. Now we are living in peace because of what they have done in the past for us. So it's very um, important that we understand the past and we treasure what um, our, the older generations have done for us here. That is what today is about. Not what some hockey broadcaster said about immigrants. Still, after three tours of duty, this veteran believes there is a connection. And that connection is the right to free speech. That's why we fought in the wars, uh, World War II, World War I, uh, Korean War. We all fought for the right and freedom to um, talk, right? So it's his opinion and uh, everyone's entitled to their opinion. He's also entitled to the consequences. And it was very disappointing because to hear those type of comments because we have such great diversity, which you see here today. We're all getting together, hey? It's far better to see us this way now, the intermarriages and all that too. That's far better than going to war and fighting to get on each other, eh? Although after serving in the Canadian Army, 89-year-old Sergeant Bill Newton does have an opinion on Don Cherry's comments. I think that guy's crazy. But old or young, new immigrant or seventh generation, today is about remembering the soldiers. You hope that they'll learn through school or whatever the, the sacrifice that people made and that you know, they get to have the, the lucky lives that they do because, uh, because our, our grandparents did something amazing. Deborah Goble, CBC News, Vancouver. And back to our top story tonight, Canadian hockey commentator Don Cherry 
has been fired from Coach's Corner after remarks made on Saturday. The online reaction was swift, with many calling on Cherry to apologize. At local rinks, though, reaction to his firing was mixed. Uh, from his heart, I don't think he really meant uh, uh, to say how it came out. I, I, don't, I disagree with it. Why? Because he didn't really say any specific race. When you've got an icon like Don Cherry making comments like that, it fuels down to the younger kids on the ice. Uh, he's been in the hockey world for a long time, but the things he says, you know, this day and age, it's not acceptable. Of course, this is not the first time Cherry has courted controversy. His hard-nosed style divided Canadians on more than one occasion. This time, though, Cherry's blunt and unapologetic approach appears to have ended his career. Lisa Shing shows us how it happened. Hours before the news broke that Don Cherry was through, his comments were discussed at this Remembrance Day ceremony in his own city. I wasn't wearing a poppy until just recently, but it was definitely something that was in my heart already. He should have at least thought about it before he went on the air and said it. Here's what got them and the rest of the country talking. You people love, you, you they come here, whatever it is, you love our way of life, you love our milk and honey, at least you could pay a couple of bucks for poppies or something like that. That rant from the Coach's Corner star touched a nerve across Canada. These guys pay for your way of life that you enjoy in Canada. At first, Cherry's employer, Sportsnet, issued an apology, as did his longtime co-host. So, I owe you an apology too. That's that's the big thing that I want to emphasize. I sat there, uh, did not catch it, did not respond. As Cherry stayed silent, this afternoon his critics got their wish. Roger Sportsnet said, following further discussions with Don Cherry, it has been decided it is the right time for him to immediately step down. The writing was on the wall for a little while now, but when it's time to go, it's time to go. I think it's about time that uh, he takes a much needed retirement. It's Don Cherry being Don Cherry and it's getting scary that we can't say what we want in this country. NHLers also weighed in. Time hockey's supposed to bring people together and, and um, you know, there's no place for, for stuff like that. So um, no, it's, uh, no, I think it's the right decision to be made. This is a pattern of behavior that we've seen repeated throughout the years, repeatedly over the last couple of decades. And I think finally, obviously there, there are people out there that are saying enough is enough. Don Cherry courted controversy for many years and was under contract with CBC for most of them. He may have lost his platform, but the founder of Hockey Night in Canada, Punjabi, says there still needs to be a conversation about what Cherry said. There are far less younger individuals that I see who are not, who are not wearing the poppy or who are supporting the poppy. But we need to speak to them about it. We need to have a conversation with them about the importance of it. And I think that's the missed opportunity that Don Cherry had. While others wonder if a simple apology could have saved his career. Lisa Shang, CBC News, Toronto. And while many of uh, people had grown tired of him stirring the pot, Cherry still managed to attract a loyal and often vocal fan base. Devin Haru now with how that double-edged dynamic kept him in the spotlight for decades. That song, those suits, Saturday Nights with Don Cherry. For nearly four decades, the bombastic grapes, as many affectionately called him, spoke his truth. How could you not like me on TV if you're a Canadian? Good old boy like me. The cup is coming to Montreal. This guy's worse than McLean. Never holding back an unwavering supporter of Canadian troops. Help the wounded. I'm sure they're their brothers. Help the wounded. Help the guys that are trying to get jobs. Help people like that. You know how many suicides there are for the Army right now? You would, you'd be ashamed. They don't like the Canadian flag. He was polarizing, even offensive, like when he scorned certain players for wearing protective equipment. Most of the guys that wear them are European or French guys. Comments that forced CBC to temporarily implement a seven-second tape delay during his broadcast in 2004. Actually, women in the National Hockey League, I think it'd be great. I think every dressing room should have one. And then there was like, uh, this. The rope shoulders like this are usually for uh, women. And so they wrote in and said I was, uh, didn't say, they said homosexual, which I thought was nice. Anyway. 
Cherry was unapologetic about how he sees the world, even when it landed him in hot water. Part of the reason why so many Canadians tuned in to Coach's Corner, you just never knew what Cherry might say next. Fair shake in life. Go out and get your own fair shake in life and work Don, for it. Don't give me that stuff. Despite his style or because of it, many Canadians adored Don, landing him in seventh spot when CBC set out to determine the greatest Canadian, even outranking Wayne Gretzky. And they said, Don, you have to change. You just have to change. You can't go on the way you are. And I said, well, Johnny Carson hasn't changed. And I went from there and I haven't changed and I'm not changing now. And that's a little treat for you fellas. Cherry didn't change, but the times did. There shouldn't be fighting in the game. You people love you. you they come here, whatever it is. Until this final blow proved to be too much for his employer, if not for Cherry himself. Not to size the dog in the fight, size the fight in the dog. Remember that. A report from the CBC's Devin Haru tonight.